Of course, they don't want that to be exposed. Who that's, why they, that's why they don't want me talking. That's why they do what they do so as I don't have no voice because they know. Okay, y'all. If you do a quick Google search on Lil' Kim's ex-boyfriend, Damien World Hardy, you will notice a bunch of articles painting him as a lunatic who needs medication. And you know how I'm always on here talking about when people start exposing what really happens in Hollywood, they are labeled crazy. Well, it's funny. There isn't much on the internet about all the things he actually exposed involving the likes of Diddy and Russell Simmons. But as always, I got my hands dirty with all the digging and you won't believe what most of these people have to do to be accepted as part of their secret pact. They really don't know what they're following. They're really, really lost. Like the devil is really fooling these people. They really don't understand what they're following. They're just soldiers and puppets for the bigger people. Now, World is an evil dude, but because of his proximity to celebrity, he did have some scoops. In fact, he is as bad as it gets, y'all. He was actually the founder and leader of the Cash Money Brothers, a gang that ran a major coke operation out of Lafayette Garden housing projects in Brooklyn from 1990s to the 2000s. World was a teenager when he formed his crew, and he ruled with terror for more than a decade and his lethal orders were carried out by Cash Money Brothers hitman's Aaron Granton who also rose through the ranks in the 1990s gang. Well, World was arrested and indicted in 2004 on charges of drug dealing, ordering hits on his rivals and kidnapping. But his trial was delayed for years as the defense claimed he was unfit to stand trial due to his diagnosed schizophrenia. During the 10-year delay, of the trial, some of his henchmen had come forward pleading guilty, testifying against their former boss, ultimately leading to his conviction. One of the former hitmen for Hardy's Cash Money Brothers crew even testified that while promoting Little Kim's career and trying to start his own music label, world targeted hip hop parties for robberies. And I'm not saying that Little Kim gave him the location of the parties, but could Kim have been giving him that information? His dealings aside, there was a time when World did an interview with Wendy Williams and he spilled some real spicy tea, y'all. In that interview is where he talked about what people in the music industry have to do to be accepted as part of their secret society. First of all, he started by saying that he is a Muslim. And when Wendy said that she had heard a few horrible things about World, he said that people were trying to discredit him because he knows some deep secrets about the industry. Obviously, Wendy asked about Little Kim, who World dated and lived with in a New Jersey mansion at the peak of his gang leadership. At one point in his relationship, the two were even engaged to be married. However, they fell apart as World's mental health stability began to deteriorate. But according to him, that's hardly the reason why they broke up. We on two different sides of the fence. She's on that side, I'm on this side. I'm she... on a straight path. I'm following Islam. What's going on in this type of thing here is it's not not Islam. For World, the problem was not that Kim was not Muslim, but she was actually part of a secret society. Kim is Kim is part of a secret society. According to World, a lot of people are part of the secret society, from government officials to people in the music industry and even court officials. But let's just try to stay focused on the music industry for now. World actually said that all these people are just puppets for the bigger people and they are known, but people are usually scared to mention names, but not him. He was not afraid to spill. One thing he said was that all those people involved in the secret society have to be sworn to secrecy and when it comes to rappers they have to be sworn to secrecy by sleeping with someone of the same sex y'all and trust he did not hesitate to name names and the first person he mentioned was jay-z well it's obviously they've been controlled by satanism i mean i'm not really scared to say that we all know luciferians freemasons and all occult knowledge that that was drugged up from Egypt have now surfaced itself in American society. Yep, Jay-Z's former friend Larry Johnson was more than willing to confirm that all those stories you've been hearing about Jay-Z could actually be true. Obviously they're not serving the same most high God that I am. 
And that's what makes us enemies, that I stand for a completely different doctrine, a completely different nation, and a completely different truth than he does. I don't have any materialism attached to my spirit or soul anymore. The other names World and Wendy dropped were 50 Cent, Clive Davis, R. Kelly, LL Cool J, Mace, Diddy, and Russell Simmons, allegedly. So according to World, if you want to know exactly what these men represent, just take a closer look at the pyramid sign they are always flashing. Half of it is on the top and the other half is down low. Just like how they're all on the DL. I mean, you know, allegedly. And when it comes to Diddy, those allegations have already been confirmed by several people. For instance, y'all remember how Exhibit said that Diddy took him to the gay club? So then, uh, you know, he, he's dealing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music and then he say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then it's girls in the club too. And then she point another direction. It's another dude over there like, but. In addition, his ex bodyguard Gene Dill confirmed that Diddy is on the DL, and he actually witnessed a couple of things. And he said, "Yo, Gene, watch the door. Don't let nobody come through here." And I said, "I watched the door." If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. And you know all those gay parties that people allege always happen in Hollywood? Apparently, Russell Simmons has hosted such parties. And again, Gene confirmed that. And we was told to go to Russell Simmons' house to get some credit cards. Mm -hmm. Me and my man, my brother Slick, we go up in Russell Simmons' house. It's a bunch of, you know, homos up in there. He, she dudes. And who else? Mm. Russell Simmons' house. Several other people have also said in the past that Russell has always been on the DL. In fact, if I remember correctly, there were even blind items that seemed directed at him that he was illegally moving underage young boys and using with them, allegedly. Also, remember when Russell was facing several allegations from more than 20 women who claimed that he took advantage of them? I didn't tell that many people about what happened with Russell. He just grabbed me. He just grabbed me. And I'm saying no. I was reduced to nothing in that moment. And guess who gave him a platform to try and justify his behavior? He was on Jay-Z's title and The Breakfast Show, which airs on Diddy's Revolt TV. Guys, come on. It really can't be a coincidence that every time someone mentions one of these men with regards to being some sort of secret society, the others must come up. Now, I know some of y'all may want to discredit World because of his nasty past, but many think there could be truth in whatever he was saying. But you know what? Let me know what you think. Do you believe World when he says that there's some pact that happens in the music industry and the initiation involves going down low? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below.